What's up, YouTubers? I want to talk today about doing business with my people sometimes. And it's not a myth. Unfortunately, I'm saying this, and I'm probably saying this in mixed company, which I hate to say things in mixed company. But a lot of times when you do, I do business with black people because I prefer to do black business. Until Friday early in the morning is that okay he never responded he just canceled my appointment so now you're being I guess too professional and you don't have any leeway and I get it some people fuck you over and things like that but you the way you are booked and the way you are popular you could have easily filled my appointment and it would have been an issue for you it's people basically beating on your door to get appointments with you and I guess you got that big head about that and you felt like oh well, if it's people beating down my door, then I, I can go ahead and cancel these client appointments. Because she don't pay. Even though she told me she can pay tomorrow and she's a faithful client and she tips well. I never went back to him when he did that. I never went back to him when he did that. I was done. I said, that's severe. I, I just feel like I've been coming to you as a client. I tip you well and this is what you do. I'm paying fifty dollars for a haircut that normal people charge twenty and thirty for. You charging me fifty, and I'm still coming to you. And I'm not complaining about the price, but I don't have money. I didn't have money until my payment. I st a lot, a certain money, and haircut is a luxury to me. And if I have emergency money, I'm not tapping into my emergency money for a haircut. That's vain, and I. And if I have an emergency, I'm fucked. I'm fucked with a good haircut. So that's the other spectrum of blackness people that are your friends that don't want to do what you ask them to do, the people who can't do what you ask them to do are not honest, and people who can do what you want them to do but go overboard. I don't experience this with other races. No other races do I experience this with, except my own, and, I'm, and it pisses me off, because I keep frequenting black businesses, and I'm going to keep frequenting black businesses until I get it right. I got it right with this, part. Enough said. I'm sure my friend is going to be pretty upset. Um, I'm sure he's going to take this shade. And I'm not shading him because I love him to death. I think he's a great person. But as a barber, you're not listening to what I ask you to do. You're not doing the designs I ask you to do. And you're not cutting my hair as best as you can. I've seen other designs. And they look better. So I have an issue with that. I, I hope if he sees this, we don't lose our friendship. I, I hope we don't. Because like I said, I love him to death. And it's not personal. I just like my hair cut a certain way. And if you're going to argue with me, which he did and fuss with me, which he did, and give me a hard time, which he did. Every time I ask you to cut my hair and, sh and do a certain design, talk about something, you do freestyle, and you don't want to do my design, then I can't work with you. I want what I want, period. And if I'm paying for it, I want what I want. This is my hair. I gotta walk around like this. I already have a man's cut, a men's cut, a boy cut, a fade. You think I wanna look manly on top of it? I wanna look feminine. I ain't got no hair. 
I want to look sexy without hair. And I want the design I want without hair. It's not hard. Feminine cuts, women cuts. They, they call them that because women do get their hair cut. Everybody don't have long hair. And I'm not saying I don't have the capacity to grow hair. This is not about that. I can grow hair. I have edges, all that. I don't have edges by choice because I cut them. I like this short hair on me. This is the best thing I've been done to my hair since I've had natural hair and I dig it. But I want my hair the way I want my hair. When I go get my hair braided or, or sew in, do my sew in like I want you to do my sew in. Do my braids like I want you to do my braids and don't give me no fucking problems. That's how I feel. Period. I don't care if you're my friend or not. So if you give me a problem, I got to go elsewhere. And that's what it is. Like I said, I love people to death. It's nothing personal, but I'm, I gotta do what I gotta do for me. So, um, I'm having an issue with somebody I ordered food from. Ordered plate two weeks ago. They're having an issue, and that's fine. I understand family emergencies. Shit happens. But what I don't understand is not communicating with me and I don't understand not giving me my refund when I ask for it. I was supposed to have my refund Wednesday. It is Friday. I have not heard nothing. And I basically got told, and I was told, not basically, I was told I can only do what I can do. I can only do what I can do is short for it is what it is. Fuck your money and fuck you. I'm a client. I'm paying you for a service. If you don't render that service, give me my money back. Don't give me excuses when it's time for me to give my money back. Your emergency is not my problem. And I understand they happen, but don't tell me you're going to give me my money back. And you don't. My money is supposed to be back to me by the end of this week. Well, this is the end of this week. And tomorrow, Saturday, is really the end of the week. I can guarantee you I don't have my money back. I don't have my food. I don't have my money. I work hard just like everybody else. I struggle too. If some shit would have happened to my car, I would have been out of gas and would have had no money either. Shit happens to me. Shit happens to everybody. But we have to adjust, but we still have to do the right thing when we adjust. Because karma comes back to you, Star. And karma comes back to you hard. So, the things that you do, you reap what you sow. That's that's the truest statement in the world. It's in the Bible. You reap what you sow. You can't be fucking people over and think that you're going to be prosperous. And I'm not the type of person that, I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to shade the person. I'm not going to, uh, oh, well, I'm shading them in this. But I'm not going to publicly say names. I'm not tagging. I'm not doing any of that. Because I feel like tearing another person down like that is, is, is bad. But I am going to talk about the situation because it is a situation that happened to me. And, and I'm talking about the situations that happened to me. I'm not naming names because I don't, I don't want to do that. But I can talk about situations that happen to me. I, I don't want to tear anybody down and take away business from people. Because I don't think that these people are bad people. I don't think they're bad people. It's just that you have to learn how to do business. And because you are doing people business with your people, you cannot do whatever the fuck you want to do. It does not work like that. Because if I was of another race, you they wouldn't be doing this to me. I know this for a fact. Because they will be afraid of word of mouth and they will be afraid that person wouldn't come back and they will be afraid of repercussions because of another race. But you would do it to your own kind and y'all got to stop doing that. When you have a business or are in business for yourself and you are an African American person and you have another African American frequent you that is trying to give another black business person money, do what you're supposed to do. Period. Do what you are supposed to do. Period. That's all I'm saying. Don't fuck me over because I'm another black person and I've been cool with you and I've been calm with you and you know I'm not going to act out and be hood and, and carry on with you because you know that about me. You know I'm a little bit bougie and I'm, and I'm very, you know, reserved with certain things and I'm not going to be acting up. Don't take my kindness for weakness because it's not. I have a platform. It's, it's, it, with me having 130 followers, I can still reach a lot of people. Because people don't always hit the subscribe button. I can still reach a lot of people with, with my mouth. I can tell people verbally. I can talk about it on all my platforms. On this one, which is YouTube. I can talk about it everywhere. I share my YouTube videos just about everywhere. And I'll have no problems. Not a one sharing this and I, and I wouldn't be wrong for naming names because I have proof of everything I say. I do. 
I take pictures. I take screenshots. But you're not. You're not going to keep doing that to me. I, I'm going to say, black people, stop treating your people the worst. Y'all always want to. Oh, black people want to. I always want a discount. They always want this. You don't ask a white man for it. The fuck if I don't. I, if if I'm asking for a discount, I don't give a fuck what color you are. I'm gonna ask for a discount, period. I don't give a fuck if you black, white, orange, yellow, blue. Uh, if I'm asking for a discount, I'm asking for a discount, period, bitch. Excuse my language. It don't got nothing to do with your race. And I think a lot of y'all gotta realize that too. We do ask for discounts from other people. I'm not scared of a soul of Spain. I don't care what color they are. If I want something, I open my mouth and I ask for it. I ask, can you work with me? Can you do this? Can you do that? I don't, I don't be scared to ask nobody for shit. I don't care what color they are. I definitely ask other races for shit. Discounts for shit. Oh, believe me. I don't care what, what these other people do. I'm speaking for myself as a black person. I ask anybody. I don't care what race it is. <laughs> that don't mean. Here, here nor that to me. So, I'm just being real. Uh, that's how I feel. That's what I do. People are just. I don't know people don't listen they don't listen and they and they don't do the right thing and i just want my people to do the right thing please do the right thing that's all i'm asking keep your people happy all your people not just your people of other races but the people of your races especially keep us happy we have a hard enough time in this world being black people you think that we want to get fucked over by our people Fuck? No. I get fucked over by my own people. I want my people to do right. Mm. I be trying to tell y'all. Please just do right. And that's my public service announcement for today. You do. Great. Comment. Have you had this experience before with black businesses as a black person? Or white businesses as a white person, or Latin businesses as a Latin person, whatever race you are. Have you had problems with your own people? Rate, comment, subscribe. Comments are below. Hit that. Hit that subscription bell. Share this. Somebody, somebody else might have had the same experience. They might want to talk about it. This is a platform for us to do that. So like I said, rate, comment, subscribe, hit that subscription bell, and I'm out of here, YouTubers.